guys on live. I know it's crazy. I am getting my iPad set up here so I can see the live. I see Angela and Catherine alive having a fabulous jewelry sale. Um, this is just a little impromptu hello. I don't even have my lights set up or anything. Um, let's see. Got my chat going. Good afternoon. Happy Saturday, friends. Uh, I just spent the morning. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Whew. It is warm in Florida. I'm sorry for my northern friends. It feels like 80 out. Good morning, good morning, or afternoon. It is 1.30 already, oh my goodness, and I forgot my coffee on the counter. I'll be right back. So I know I have not been live with you guys in a while. I don't do the live sales anymore. Um, and my drop sales have moved over to my Etsy shop, all just because of bookkeeping this year. It's a lot easier if I just drop them on my Etsy and Etsy does all like the behind the scenes stuff. So it's been a busy Saturday morning. Um, I got up at 7 a.m. I did some reseller stuff. Eight o'clock I ran out because my community had a community yard sale today. So I was like, I gotta check that out. So I went and I did some shopping and um, that was fun. Then my parents came down and we went out to lunch with them. It's their wedding anniversary coming up, 58 years together. And my dad's birthday is next month. So we kind of did a combo deal with that. So I'm a little from running around outside. But I thought it'd be fun to just hop on, say hi, see who was around, chat a little bit. Um, seeing if I see some, one person is watching. I don't see anyone in the live chat yet. And that's fine. I know it's a Saturday and everyone's busy. But I thought I would just show you real quick what I found at the yard sales because it's been a minute since I've gone to yard sales. It really has. Sorry, I'm like, whew, guys. The cats are all hanging out. My folks just left. So I figured I'd do this real quick. So it was fun going to the yard sale because of yard sale pricing. Oh my goodness. I don't even think I spent $15, guys. I don't know the last time I went somewhere and didn't spend $15. Hello. Hello, New England thrifter. Helen? Is it Helen? Hello. Happy Saturday. So yeah, um, I thought in the words of Dolores, Miss Damn Julie, Jewelry, it'd be rude not to go to the yard sales because they were literally outside my door in my own development. It was the community yard sale. Now, as is typical for my area, um, I do live in kind of like um, a younger crowd area, young families, but we do have some other community around us. So I kind of, you know, picked and chose. Oh, I'm sorry, Helen. Y'all are getting that nor'easter, aren't you? Y'all are getting that. I'm so sorry you're getting the snow. I, for those of you I, who haven't watched my channel for a long time, I was born and raised in New York, not New York City, but the Hudson Valley area. So I spent 18 years of my life with snow and now I've spent, oh gosh, is it 20? I can't do the math anymore, but we'll just say more than 18 years in Florida now. So hello, Kelly, welcome. I'm just doing a quick little live. It was just totally impromptu. That seems to be the only way I can do these lives is when they're impromptu. I don't get nervous. And I'm just excited to come hang out. I'm just having my coffee. So as I was saying, uh, my community had a yard sale this morning. So before my parents came and we did a whole brunch in the afternoon, I ran for 40 minutes and I kind of looked for houses. Like if people had a lot of like kids toys out and there were lots of kids, I, uh, I kind of like skipped those. But if it looked like there was lots of good, like I've, I've got an eye for it. So I knew what to do. Yes, Helen, you can live vicariously through me. Um, here, I'll do this for you, Helen. Florida. There you go. I'll send you some of the 80 degree weather. There we go. Oops, gotta get this even again. I'm sure there are many people down at the beach today, but I'm just not a beach girl. I've never have been. I guess it's because I grew up in the mountains in New York and I've just never been, you know. Okay, but you guys want to see what I got, right? Now, I didn't get a lot, but I did pretty good. So as some of you know, I'm an eBay and Etsy seller. 
I used to be on Mercari. I stopped that just because for bookkeeping, eBay and Etsy collect the proper tax and send it to the people who need it in terms of state taxes when items are sold. So that's why I'm mainly on eBay and Etsy because they take that off my shoulders because I work full time and I'm a part time reseller. So to not have to deal with that helps me, although I do have to pay my stuff at the end of the year. Let me see if I can get remove and I need to hold on one sec. I wonder if I can. Helen, I just made you a moderator just in case any more creepers come up. So the first thing I picked up, I took a chance on. So this is like a good travel tote bag. It's got like skulls on it, but it's the Volcom brand. Vol Volcom, hold on. I know, I know I saw it on here. And the handles are a little warm. Yeah, it's the Volcom brand, Volcom. So I know that this down here, this is popular because it's I think like a surfing and skater brand. And it, it has a very clean interior. It's a nice travel bag. It's got an inner pocket and it's got some other pockets here. The lady had five on it. I asked her if she'd take four and she did because the handles are a bit worn. But I'm hoping that this might be a $20 item on eBay, which wouldn't be too bad. And it smells sweet, like, which is good because it's not like a, a, a smoky smell or anything. So what was good was once I purchased this, I could put my goodies in it. So I mean, $4, I'm like, oh, cause my Goodwill has gone insane guys. I bought like eight things last night and had to spend like $65. It's just, but that's just what you do. You just pivot and keep going with the times. You just get more selective in what you buy. You just learn what you like to sell. You see what's selling and you just get in there. All right, so next, let's see. I picked this, ooh, this is pretty cool. So this is a hand-painted boomerang. Wait, it may not be hand-painted. I think it's printed. Anyway, it's a pretty cool boomerang. Do you see? I guess it's got like a hunting scene on it. And this was only $2. So I'm gonna have to check that out. Now that I'm really looking at it, I don't, but it's got some splatter. So I don't know if it's hand painted or not. It's hard to tell. Oh, you're in Arkansas and the Goodwill is awful. So like what, yeah, that's what I thought. So I mean, even at $2, um, I've just got to see if I can figure out if it's hand painted because it looks like the paint has seeped into the wood and it does look like, you know, like when, um, paint gets into something and the edges get fuzzy. That's what it looks like, but it may be printed. Either way, I'll look it up. Some $2, I think that was a pretty cool find. Okay, I was concerned because at this house, when I walked up, I could smell cigarette smoke, like coming off the stuff in the driveway. So I was a little worried because I had my mask on, but the wood has no smell, so that's good. Yeah, so with our Goodwills, like a figurine that used to cost me 99 cents is now $3.99. And like, there's this dog planter I've been wanting. It's like a golden, golden retriever kind of thing that's laying down. They have $12.99 on it. So, I mean, I get it. Prices are changing, things are changing, but I'm just like, I mean, stuff has been sitting for weeks at my Goodwill now. I can go back and see it sitting there until it's the color of the week. Like, I know every Goodwill is different. Ours here has um, a color of the week. So if you go in and it, it's blue, all blue tags are 50% off, not including clothing. That's something different. So, yeah. And that's, that's the neat thing about, and what else I like about yard sales is I'm a bit nosy. Like, I don't know any of my neighbors, but it's fun to be a bit nosy. So, you know, some of these people have like their garage doors open and it's like, oh, this is who lives here. Because in my neighborhood, it's very much like 
you see the doors open in the morning and the cars leave and you see the garage doors come down when people come home and you'll see sometimes like people with kids walking around but you never really see who's in the neighborhood i think that has to do with our weather unless you're a really early bird or like evening person i'll just end up in the bins which is a shame like i kid you not i i hope i caught it in uh I tried to do a shop with me last night for that, uh, for the Goodwill. So the dog planter was $12.99. It had a puppy with it that matched. They wanted $5.99 for the puppy figurine, which wasn't even a planter. It was just a figurine. Yeah, it'll end up at the bins, which is a shame, Helen. Helen, by the way, I love your Golden Girls thing you guys do. I've caught that a little bit. So I work seven to four every day. So like sometimes I can catch things for like 10, 15 minutes. Like I can hop on if it's near my lunch hour or something. So I enjoyed watching you girls the other day. All right, then I think these are modern, but I thought they were super cute for spring. It is a set of like, help me out guys, placemats, but look how pretty. There's only two of them and it was a dollar for the set. I just thought they were really, really, really sweet with spring coming, like on a table. So I'll probably throw these in a drop sale. I think most of this stuff is gonna go in a drop sale because I was able to get such good prices. And if you don't know what my drop sales are, um, every other week about in my Etsy shop, I have a section that opens up with 20 items where I discount them from what I would normally list them online at and you guys get first dibs. And if they don't sell, they go up to the price I would list them for online and they get moved out of that category. So that's what that is. Hey Dee, are you staying warm girl? Helen was just telling me, I know she's in a different area, but that she's got the ice up there. Well Dee, I had a community yard sale. I didn't have it. My community had a yard sale this morning. So I ran out at eight o'clock and I got a couple of items. Oh, that's right, Helen. Yeah, because I saw you from Dolores too, because she was on your channel. So with prices the way they are, I love going to yard sales and the fact that it was like all in one spot. So, so far we got a cool boomerang for $2 and we got a cool Volcom tote for $4. And then we got some spring doilies for a dollar. Dee, I won't tell you even what's going on. Oh, and you know, yeah, that's the right side, okay. I won't even tell you what it's like in Florida right now, Dee, because you might virtually hang up on me. And I was telling the ladies that I remember those days of the snow because I grew up in New York in the Hudson Valley area. So I spent 18 years shoveling snow. Like it'd be a snow day and my sister would be like, hey, can you go shovel so I can get my car out to go to work? Snow banks over my head. Yeah, I remember those days. So these are cute for spring. And then I did find a little vintage. I was very excited. Let me get these out. This does have a little musk to it. <laughs> it just smells like older wood, but it's this wall mount recipe box with the mushrooms. It was only 50 cents. I was like, I could not pass that up for 50 cents. I'll clean it up a little, but Again, with these prices, they're perfect for drop sales. Helen's living vicariously through me, Dee. She's pretending she's in 80 degree weather today. So I thought that even though there was a little wear to the mushrooms on top, yeah, that someone would still like it. And if I'm hyper, I was hanging out with my parents for a couple of hours this morning. So like we had so much fun, we went to lunch. It's their 58th wedding anniversary. So we treated them to lunch. And my dad's birthday's next month, so we gave him his birthday present. And I want like my fourth, fifth cup of coffee today to keep going. Yeah, that cottage core and the Scandinavian is what I'm looking for, like that boho mid-century mix. So, so far we've only spent four, five, five dollars, four, five, seven fifty so far, which is amazing for for items. Um, let's see, all right. Then I got brooches for 50 cents each. So this one does not have stones. It's like green enamel paint, but it reminded me of a like peacock feather. 
Aw, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm a fan of Betty Boop. I have a very, very tiny Betty Boop collection. And my husband and I went to Universal Studios because it's close to us. And we got the Christine Betty Boop mug. So I enjoy that. So this one doesn't, it looks like it might have a maker on it, but I'm going to have to get my glasses out because it's very, oops, goodness. It's like really hard and embossed, like smeared in the bottom down there. So that was 50 cents, which I was like, yes, please. And then this one I picked up, it does not have a maker. It's just got the C class, but I thought it was just a cute little simple. It's like gold and rhinestone. And it's got like the little bubbles that make you think that this has rhinestones, but it's not, it's just the gold. I'm gonna do Jenny's trick. Gonna focus, focus, nope, nope, okay, we'll move on. I know 50 cents each, the lady, and I was like, all right. Because the thing was, this was 50 cents and I didn't like wanna just hand her a dollar. And then this one I picked up, I now I'm noticing it's missing three rhinestones. But this is just a cute little simple wreath piece. It's got the pearls and the little rhinestones. I'm gonna have to figure this out because in March I'm doing a live with uh, Dolores and Beth, Carolina Princess, and it's a mini jewelry haul on my channel, so I'm gonna have to figure out this whole jewelry thing. So that was only like 75 cents for those three. And then I only got three more items, guys. But again, I think once I'm done, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I only spent $17, that blows my mind. Cause I've just, everything's been so expensive lately. All right. This next little guy, I thought of my friend Kim at Oh My Vintage. And this is for all the ladies who love the cutie stuff. Hey, Julie girl, what's up? Staying warm with the kitty cats in front of the fire? Ooh, I just got an Etsy order. That's exciting. I don't know what I sold. Hmm. So, oh man, it's missing a finger. Oh, $2 though. Look at that. And I just noticed it's missing its finger. It probably broke off in my bag because it was in really good condition. No damage to the flowers. And it did have this mark on the bottom. It's a C with an N. It's a C with an N. And I just thought it was super cute. I'm gonna be so upset if that broke off in my bag because I'm pretty sure that wasn't broken. I mean, for $2 still. Yeah, and I just, I haven't been to my flea market lately. I need to get back to doing that. I've just been, I've just been going through my death pile because I'm, I'm getting into jewelry now and I have like boxes of jewelry I'm starting to list. So I thought this was beautiful for $2. Then I got these for eBay and these are just a Target thing. So um, they're just fun brass toned geometric like candle holders and she only wanted $5 for the pair. They come with their own dust. You know, look, she had $3 each originally. Now they're two for five or three each. And I just thought these would be perfect for eBay like $15, $20. Yeah, perfect for a patio. So that was an exciting find. And then this made me the most happy. Uh, thank you, Julie. If you guys don't know and you're interested, I started a new series this year on my channel, a kind of what sold Monday. And every Monday I post a video at eight to 8.30 a.m that shows you everything I sold the past week and it compares on the first page, my eBay sales to my Etsy sales and it shows you what the fee comparison was. And last week was interesting because I sold nine, nine items on each venue 
and I think the eBay fees were like $20 more. So for people who may be on one platform and contemplating the other or vice versa, you can kind of see what sells, what I've been selling, and what the fee comparison is. So guys, this I was excited for. Y'all know, you all have seen these. And there's a chip on the back of it. <laughs> That's okay, it's on the bottom. So I got three of these. Aw, thanks, Julie. So I got the three, and I was okay that there was only three of these because, and two of them I'm just noticing are chipped on the back, but that's to be expected with these. But it came with the corn plate. It came with the corn plate, guys. And guess what? This whole set was a dollar for all four, a quarter each. Are you kidding me? Like this alone would be $8. Well, what I would do if I was you, Helen, is I would look at the inventory that you have. And if you really want a niche to vintage, maybe just start on Etsy with what you're comfortable with. One item a day, just start on Etsy. I was an Etsy girl. I did not get on eBay until Michelle of Newton's Cupboard talked me into it. And last year was my first year on eBay and I doubled my profits because I had just been on Etsy the year before and I made about what I'd made on Etsy the year before plus my Etsy profits. So I was three times what I made the year before by being on both. So, and I know Julie sees me post about this on, um, yeah, D, isn't that a great deal? So these are not Shawnee, I don't think. They don't have any maker's marks. They, they look like they might be a craft piece, like a home studio set. They do have a few chips on the bottom. Oh, y'all appreciate this. So I snuck off to the flea market last Sunday for just an hour because I need to get out of the house. And I was in the little thrift store and I was talking to this guy at the register because he had found this Beautiful, he had found the stash of California pottery before I got there, he was checking out. So I was checking out what he was buying and he had a stack of like 12 of these that were California pottery and, the, and they were stacked on the counter and the girl went to grab them, to pack them, hit them and they went flying off the counter and him and I both dove for them and two shattered on the floor. Luckily the other two didn't break and I like hit the counter before the rest could fall off, it was heartbreaking because they were they were gorgeous, gorgeous. You're starting eBay in a couple of weeks. Now, um, Kelly, do you follow Michelle of Newton's Cupboard? Michelle does Working Wednesdays. If you guys don't know this, Michelle Newton's Cupboard has a new series called Working Wednesdays and she dives into the reselling world. So like, one week she'll take you through how she like write D. The guy was like, as long as I still have like 10, I was just like, oh my, and the girl behind the counter was like, oh, that happens a lot around here. I'm like, then stop dropping stuff. Like, oh good, good Kelly, yeah. She's, she's the one who got me into eBay. And uh, Julie, I was gonna tell you, if you like watching Michelle and I, She'll be here in April. So there'll be like the end of April and May, you'll see videos of both of us shopping in Florida and hauls and stuff. So yeah, she does a lot of those. She's, and I've learned so much from her about eBay. I know she's about to do a new uh, eBay video she posted because eBay changed their format. And she has a different plan level than me. She has the first tier and I'm on the second tier. But like it now, the interface is like Etsy and she'll take you through it all. I don't want to spoil her video, but mine hasn't updated yet to look like hers. Hey, Sonia girl. We're just hanging out chit chatting. I'm all, I'm actually wearing a dress guys. I'm not in one of my t-shirts cause I got dressed up to hang out with my parents. And I have to show you guys, my mom did an amazing job. So she was here hanging out. I'm about to show you my messy kitchen. And I told her I had all these marbles I had to sort, right? 
Can you guys see that? She sat there and sorted all the marbles on my towel for me. Isn't that funny? Hey, Jeannie girl. She's so funny. So yeah. So yeah, that was my little um, morning escapade. I didn't want to do like a haul video, but I figured. Oh, so Julie, do you have a store? Do you have the basic or premium? <coughs> and I'm sorry, I'm coughing guys. Our pollen is so bad in Florida right now. Everything is covered in yellow. That's love. Yeah, she's so funny. I mean, my mom, bless her, she's 78 years old. Her and my dad, and like I said, they came over this morning. We took them out for their 58th wedding anniversary. Busy being in the nursing home activities. And she told me, anytime you need me to sort stuff, my dad's like, I'll drop her off. <laughs> so she may um, help me with jewelry down the road if I need to sort through jewelry. You don't have a store, okay. So maybe they're working their way up. Maybe mine will be different this evening because I have the premium and mine hasn't converted yet on eBay. Yeah, my mom loves to do puzzles and all that. So for those just coming in, my um, community had a yard sale this morning. So I hit up a few houses and I got like this little guy for $2 who's super cute. Oh, wow. Yours has been two weeks. Okay. So they're moving along then because Michelle's just happened today and she has the basic version of the first tier. I got this cool boomerang. I got some brooches. And if you guys have eBay or Etsy questions and you, while I'm just reshowing some of my 50 cent purchases here, Feel free to pop them on. Like this is just a fun chance to chat and say hey. Cause I don't get to do this that often. Oh yeah. See the funny thing here is by summertime, we don't do the yard sales because you're walking on the sun. <laughs> so the fall is usually good and they do the community one. I've, I've done it a couple of years uh, back before, you know, all the shutdowns and stuff. This was a fun find. I really like this. I wish the mushrooms were in better condition, but it's got the cute little, and my dad said he remembers these from when he was a kid. Yeah, I saw the Etsy fees just went up. You know, Sonia, the weird thing is, if I have a preference over eBay and Etsy, I was an Etsy girl. I was hardcore Etsy. What I like about eBay is the ability to diversify. So like, I guess I lean a little more towards Etsy still just because a lot of the time I get the full price for my vintage, whereas I tend to get more offers on my vintage on eBay and Etsy people just buy it outright. Um, the one thing I'm finding on eBay though that's interesting is as you guys know, I've started a whole series of jewelry hauls on my channel or they'll be coming out the next couple of months because I just bought two more lots, guys. I have like 15, 16 bags of jewelry to go through with you all. <laughs> See, D hates Etsy. I think it just depends. So like I've started posting the jewelry on eBay and a little bit on Etsy that's vintage and it's been selling for me on eBay. So like I started on Etsy because I was selling art and I was selling handmade bracelets and then I converted to vintage and I hated eBay because I thought eBay took longer to list than Etsy. See, D thinks the opposite, but D, they just updated eBay and eBay is just like Etsy now. That's what we're talking about. Um, I don't know which store level you have, D, if it's hit you yet, but, uh, I, it hasn't hit me at premium, but it's the people without subscriptions got it about two weeks ago, Julie said. And then I know Michelle Newton's covered who has the first tier. It, sh it just converted on her today. And now it's more screens and everything. Yeah, it's Michelle's going to be doing a video on a D. So, so look for it. Um, okay. So that's interesting, Julie. Oh, but Julie, is yours like eBay Canada? See, this is interesting. 
because Dee doesn't have a store either, but Julie from AJ's Retro Vintage, hers is already changed over and she doesn't have a store. That's interesting. So let me see, Jeannie, Chicago lady, our yard sales, thrift stores are the pits, nothing there but clothes, DVDs, and dust. I was happy with what I found today because a lot of our yard sales, it's like um, the family selling uh, like the kids' toys and the kids, like if you were someone who really was into clothing and the shoes and all that, which I don't dive into, you could have done well today because there's a lot of that. I just, I'm just tiptoeing into jewelry because it's easier to ship. No.com, US eBay. All right, so I don't know what they're doing, guys. I don't know what eBay's doing. It's crazy. Oh, I also got these, Jeannie, and those just coming in. I actually like these for my house, but I don't have any more room, guys. I've like used all my wall space. Yeah, I don't have any more room. Oh goodness. I'm not big on clothes. I buy them once in a while to sell, but not often. I kind of, I've just, I guess because I get nervous about the sizing thing, D. that's why I've not gotten into the clothing yet, just worrying about what measurements I have to put. I tried dipping into purses, but most of the ones I've bought are just sitting, and that could be I'm just not buying what people are purchasing, you know, because I'm still learning. Yeah, Helen, we try. The problem is I'm in like a 1,400 square foot house, and my garage is my reselling, like wall to wall on my reselling. And really my only vintage stores is, storage is what you guys see behind me. And I have my glass collection, which I know a lot of you guys like to see. There you go. There's my vintage glass collection. And then I have like my family memorabilia and stuff in the cabinets. And that's really all the space I got for display. Sorry. Oh, don't pop out. Hold on. I may lose you guys. Okay. I'm still getting used to my new iPhone. I went to Goodwill last night and I filmed and I was so excited. I got all this footage. Half of it didn't even film. I got home and I'm like, where's that footage? My husband, John was with me. He was helping me thrift. I was showing you guys stuff he was showing me. And I think half the footage is gone. Um, Julie, do I cross list all items? Yes. And no, I, I guess I'm trying to decide how, which venue to look at it from. If it goes on my Etsy, it goes on my eBay. But like, so when I get up in the mornings and I do my five listings, I start on eBay and I list all five items. Then I look at those five items and I go, what is vintage? And if it's vintage, it gets cross posted to Etsy. There you go. And I do use list perfectly, which is having a glitch issue right now. Um, if you're posting, pulling from um, list perfectly onto Etsy, before it would show um, your section. So you could like say what section of your Etsy shop you were gonna put it in. And now it glitches and only does it for like every other listing. So Mercari, Mercari is hit or miss for people. Hey, Dolores, girl. We were talking about your ears burning. Okay, so first I'll answer the Mercari thing. I'll just comment on that. D, I did Mercari last year and I got off of it because I did not like how it was run. In that it took too long to get payment because you ship the item and not until the person gets it and accepts it do you then get paid. And I've heard some sketch things happening with Mercari. Uh, Cat the nurse flipper, they like closed her account or withheld her money or something. So some people swear by it, but I've heard quite a few people, it's been kind of iffy. And so List Perfectly is a, is a program. L-I-S-T here. Cause I know my accent gets in the right way. So what it is, is I pay $65 a month to use List Perfectly. I list everything on eBay. And then I open the little icon for List Perfectly on my browser and I click it and I tell it, 
I want to pull all those EV listings into their program. And then from there, I say, okay, put them on Etsy now, and it will pull all the information that is put on eBay and autofill my Etsy. So all I have to do is when I get over to Etsy, because it'll pop up the tabs for me, I just change a few things and boom, I can get them listed in like five minutes. I would look up some YouTube videos on it, D, and see what you think. Dolores, here girl, these are for you. Check it out. So this is painted, the green is like a paint on enamel. There we go. And there is a maker I was saying at the bottom, but I don't know, it's kind of like really stamped in there hard because Dolores loves her jewelry. I got this with the rhinestones, 50 cents. And then I got this little guy, I know you like these. And it's got the little rhinestones on the leaves. I thought when I got a better phone, I could do better with jewelry. And then I got this. And we're just talking about cross-listing, eBay, Etsy, list perfectly if y'all have questions. I know I've been on here about 36 minutes, so I'm probably gonna wrap it up here soon. Oh, that's right, D, your sale's starting. Three o'clock, D, thrill the thrift, be there. Maybe you'll get to see Binks. And then, got these. This was a dollar with the holders. I got three holders. And then I got these two for five. Right? I got that right. D is at three, right? I'm not running into her time. Cold coffee. I'm all wound up on caffeine, guys. Dolores, my dad was so funny, but he, he's excited for the candy. He's gonna give the strawberry ones a try. And he's like, and I'll take one of these too. I'm like, you can have one of those. <sighs> my hair is such a, whew. Yeah, I ended up spending, um, so this was 50 cents. I think, what'd we say, $17 total? I mean, I walk into Goodwill and buy two items and I've got that. I think I showed these. These were a dollar for two of those. I got this cool boomerang. Oh, you're welcome, Helen. And feel free to message me if you ever have questions. And I got this cool Vulcan bag for $4. Oh boy, yep, it's feed and time. Mine are gonna do that soon. Well, I guess I'm gonna wrap it up, guys, because now I gotta inventory this stuff. Aw, you're so sweet, Dolores. Well guys, I appreciate you spending some time with me on this Saturday afternoon. I know everyone's got family and friends and I know y'all up north are hunkered down. So I'm gonna get off here and get a little bit of work done and everyone have a safe afternoon. Stay warm, take care guys. I'll talk to y'all soon.